the title of my sermon is Safety Needs, and I preached this on Sunday, November the 10th, 2019, at Prospect Trinity and Asbury United Methodist Churches in Harrington, Delaware. My name is the Reverend Dr. Lawrence Jameson. Well, in the month of November, I'm looking at some of the insights of Abraham Maslow and his hierarchy of needs and how those relate to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And there's a lot of common ground there. Let me tell you a story about something that actually happened to me. When I was a little boy, my mouth got me into a lot of trouble. I was smart, but I was not wise. And my cutting remarks rubbed a couple of bullies the wrong way. And so one day they followed me home from school. You know, they were going to beat me up in my own backyard. I was terrified. I yelled for help. I screamed. I screamed really loud. And believe me, I screamed as loud as I could when those two boys, who were twice my size, came over our chain link fence. I didn't think anybody would hear me, and I thought that I was going to be hurt really badly. Bang! The back door of our house flew open. My brother, who was six foot two inches tall, walked into the yard, and the bullies froze. I could not believe my eyes because my brother was home. He was never home. You know, he walked over to the bullies and he grabbed them both at the same time by their shirts, behind their heads. He lifted them up both at once, just like rag dolls, and he put them gently over the ivy covered fence. And when their feet hit the dirt, they ran. <laughs> they never bothered me again. You know, my brother was not a good man, but that day, God used him like an angel from heaven to save me from those two bullies. Well, dear ones, we need to be safe. We need to be safe in our own home, at school, at work, on the street, everywhere. We need to be safe. And this is one of the basic needs that every human being has. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female, black or white, gay or straight. You know, we all need safety and security and just to live our lives and to be happy and to carry on with life. You know, that is a core truth that we all share. And this could be your ministry because everybody needs safety and security. You know, life is sometimes dangerous, and that's when safety in numbers comes in. Perhaps God is calling you to participate in making your environment a little bit more safe. You know, we are stronger together when we are uh, than we are when we're alone. And when those two bullies had me cornered, I was absolutely terrified. And no child and no adult should ever have to feel that way. You know, God is looking out for us. You know, our God is constantly working to protect you and me. And uh, we don't think about it very much, but God is there. You know, God doesn't take our safety or security for granted. You know, in Romans 8.35, the Bible says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, For your sake we face death all day long, and we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You know, we serve a mighty God. Sometimes we face danger, but God is with us, and even in the worst of our circumstances, God is working. God is present for us. Let me tell you a true story that I saw with my own eyes. It's about protection from tornadoes. I used to be the, the pastor at Wesley United Methodist Church in Elk Neck, Maryland. I was there for six years, and, and this is a, a place that is halfway between Northeast and Elkton at the top of the Chesapeake Bay. Well, there was a woman, let's call her Julie, uh, at Wesley Church who taught Sunday school, and she had an amazing faith. You know, she was, uh, every Sunday when, when we would go to church and I would say, um, are there any good things you'd like to thank God for today? She would raise her hand and she would usually give the most amazing testimonies, and it was a lot of fun to go to that church. Well, one summer, it was... Uh, it was time to have Vacation Bible School, and I remember listening to Julie as she was giving a Bible lesson to her class about how God will protect us from tornadoes. You know, that was the curriculum for that day, and it was a very specific Bible lesson. So I remember her teaching this to the children, and she told them that God loved them, and, and God was always working to protect them, even from tornadoes. Well, we all went home that night, and guess what happened later that night? A tornado came to Elk Neck, Maryland. 
<laughs> it missed the parsonage, thank God, but it came through our neighborhood. Uh, nobody was injured or killed, uh, thank God, but there was quite a bit of property damage. Julie lived a couple blocks over. I remember getting in the car and going over to her house afterwards to see what happened. The house to the right next to Julie was damaged pretty bad, and the house on the other side of Julie was damaged pretty good too, but Julie's house... Uh, Julie's house, it was almost as if God had just picked up that tornado and, and, and when it went by her house and then set it down on the next guy's house. <laughs> Julie's house was filled with young children and dogs and cats and toys and cars and lots of stuff in the yard and all of that was completely and utterly missed by that tornado. You know, it was as if it was as if God reached down and lifted that tornado when it came near to Julie's house. Oh, the testimony that Julie gave that Sunday. It was awesome. Sue and I enjoyed just listening to her talk, and she was praising the Lord and glorifying his name. And why not? Because God had obviously blessed her ministry, and the children listened to her when she taught, and they will never forget that. You know, our Lord has the power to save. Jesus Christ has the power to save. And we need to hear that. You know, the name of Jesus itself, it means Yahweh saves. And it came from the Hebrew, the Old Testament name of Joshua, who um, was a protege of Moses. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. You remember that, Joshua? Well, that's what was that the name that's the name that Jesus had, and that's what is translated in English as Jesus. And it literally means Yahweh saves. You know, we need the protection and the favor and the deliverance of our God. And sometimes we just need to stop and call on his name and start screaming out to God with all our heart and bang, the back door flies open and somehow God shows up, especially when we really need him. We serve a God who saves. I love the scripture that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's John 3.16. Let us pray. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for putting your hedge of protection around us. Thank you for the fact that we can enjoy life because you are our help and shield. Please show us how to stand up and be counted for anybody who's at risk, the young, the old, the people who are different, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for listening to this sermon.